everyone, Tim Schofield here from QBKing77.com doing a video showing you how to get free Wi-Fi hotspot wireless tethering on your HTC One. Very simple process. You must first be rooted though. I do have a full instructional video on how to root your device. I will link to that in the description of the video. So you do need to be rooted. You'll see I do have a Super SU right there. I am fully rooted. Now once you are rooted, you need to download and install an application, a Wi-Fi tether application. So to do so, click on the link in the description of the video. Clicking on the link in the description is going to take you to my website actually. So you'll see right here, it's just a temporary article. I haven't published it yet, but you'll see Hotspot APK Latest. Um, you will want to download that right here. So click on where it says download, download it. It'll be an APK file. Transfer that APK file onto the internal storage of your device. So very simple, click and drag it over to the internal storage of your device. Uh, if, I do wanna make a note, if for any reason this APK is causing you problems and you can't get it to work, there's a bunch of other ones you wanna try out right here at this link. So try this one first. If it doesn't work, try out these links here. Um, you need to uninstall any previous version before you can install a new one. You can't install them over each other. So uh, if this one doesn't work, uninstall it. Try another one from this thread right here. You also can play around with the settings. I'll get to that in a bit once you have it installed. So uh, download this APK file, transfer it over the internal storage of your uh, device and go back to your phone. All right, and once you have that APK file downloaded and transferred over to your device on the internal storage, we're ready to go. You actually need to download and install a file explorer on your device. I just downloaded ES File Explorer right there found in the Play Store. Very simple. Go ahead and go into it, and inside the file explorer, you will see the Wi-Fi tether application right there, the APK file. Just press on it, and then it will say Install Blocked. Just go into Settings, and then scroll down and check Unknown Sources. Make sure that's checked. Hit OK, then go back and then press the application once more and hit install. It'll go ahead and run through and install the application. You'll see app installed, just hit done. And that should be just about it, at least for me. Um, like I said, it's for some reason it's different for every device. So what you can do is actually, uh, I'm gonna put it on the home screen real quick to show you guys how to do it. Um, what you can do is actually go into the application and what I recommend doing is just hitting, pressing it to start. So go ahead and press it to start. You need to grant it super user permission. So make sure you hit grant. Uh, that's a big step actually, so make sure you do that. And then it'll start on up. For some reason, mine says started with errors. However, it still works. So uh, it says tethering started with errors. Please check show log, but mine still worked just fine. Um, like I said, it's very finicky. Uh, it, it kind of works different on different devices. So you might need to try a different application, but this one worked fine for me. The main one that I had you download and install. I just turned it on. You'll see it says press stop to tether, but let me go ahead and show you that it's working. So I'm gonna leave this running. I'm gonna to go to my computer. All right, I'm at my computer. You'll see I'm not connected to any network. It says not connected. You'll see Android tether right there. It has this icon because it is unsecured. I have not set any security. I'll show you the settings at the end of this video, but um, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, connect to it. So I'm gonna go ahead and run through. It says connecting to Android tether. Um, and then what's gonna happen is it'll load on up. You'll see Android Tether 7 internet access. So it is connected. It does work fine. Um, I don't know why it said starting with errors, but it did, but it still works for me. So let me go ahead and load up a web page. Let me go to my website. Um, I have it loaded up here, but let's say you wanted to go ahead and check out some tech news. We can go ahead and click on this article and it should load up. Uh, you'll see it is loading and there we go. So it loaded on up just fine. Um, everything's working fine. I am on LTE at the moment, so you'll see 4G up at the top. It is loading, um, and it wor and works great. So tethering is working just fine, um, but I did want to go ahead and get into some settings so you can try and me uh, mess around with some things and change things if you can't get it to work properly. All right, so I'm just going to press and stop uh, tethering. I'm just going to go ahead and stop, turn it off for now, but you can go ahead and press menu and go into settings. And under settings, there's a bunch of options. You can actually enable Wi-Fi encryption. You can change the ID of, of the internet so it doesn't just say Android Tether. You can change it to whatever you want. Um, there's a bunch of things. You can enable access control. Again, some of these settings can cause it not to work. As I said, it's very finicky. So uh, like I said, you're gonna have to play around with it. Um, it, it is. It, it definitely can cause a lot of people problems. Changing device profile, you might wanna try generic. Try generic ICS, Jelly Bean, WLAN Zero. Try Try these top three generic, uh, the top three generic ones as well, along with auto with the different applications that might work. You might want to try a different HTC one. 
um, if the 1X is on there, I don't see it. So you might want to try an HTC One. Again, you'll have to play around with it. Uh, it is very finicky, as I said. Uh, there's so many different settings you can play with. Leave a comment on my article if you do change some settings and get it to work. Um, you can try a bunch of these different ones, actually. So again, leave a comment. Let us know which one works for you, what setup, which application. There's a bunch of different dated ones. So this one works just fine for me. I'm actually going to go ahead and enable Wi-Fi encryption, and then I'm going to go ahead and change the passphrase. You'll see ABCDFG through M is the default passphrase, but you can change it to uh, whatever you'd like. It must be 13 characters long, so uh, just kind of keep that in mind. You can actually change it to the same one as your home Wi-Fi password if you'd like to, but that's it. So um, that's how to get free tethering on your HTC One. Hopefully this worked just fine. Uh, leave a comment. Let us know. Uh, please subscribe to me as well. I'd really appreciate it. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. All links will be in the description of the video below, and as always, thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up.